anything up or down? No. There is not, right. But A we know is going to be what here? <coughs> it's just going to be 1, right? <coughs> and K is going to be 10 pi, right. Good. So therefore our period, and what's the equation for the period? 2 pi over k, and so since k is 10 pi, that would make this 2 pi over what? 10 pi, and what happens to the pi? They cancel. And 2 can go into 10, right? And that's what? Yeah. So our period is just 1 fifth. Okay? All right. So, before we start, let's take a look at our original graph for cosine, y plus cosine x, okay, and here's 1, negative 1, and this is before any shifting or any stretching or anything, right, here's pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi, okay, so that's the original graph for cosine. But our period has changed, right? And so we go ahead and write our increments down. 0 pi over 2 times k pi over k, right? 3 pi over 2 times k and 2 pi over k. And we said that since k is... Um, 10 pi, right? <coughs> we put 10 pi into the denominator of all of these. Well, 10 pi, 0 over 10 pi, that's just going to be 0, right? So that doesn't change. Well, why do I keep doing that? Well, you want to keep 0 in the picture because when we get into phase shift, where it's shifting right or left, you will have to use 0. So we don't want to forget 0. All right, so we're, we're getting in the habit of using zero, even though we don't need it right now. Okay, so here's pi over two times what? Ten pi, right? We're looking at k, not period. Okay, so pi's cancel, right? And we get one over what? 20. All right, so for cosine, what that means is that instead of here at pi over 2, we're at 1 over 20. Okay? So now here instead of pi, right, here's pi over what value? 10, 10 pi, right. And so the pi's cancel again and we end up with what? 110. So here, instead of at, here at pi, now we're at 1 over 10. And so now we continue on. 3 pi over what? 2 times what value? 10 pi. 10 pi, right. And so the pi's cancel, right? And so we end up with 3, that's right, 3 over 20. Instead of 3 pi over 2, now we're at 3 over 20. And then the last part here, we've got 2 pi over 10 pi, right? And again, the pi's cancel, and, we, and 2 goes into 10, that's 5. And so there we have 1 fifth, right? Which is what we said our period was to begin with. And so instead of here at 2 pi, we're at 1 fifth. Okay? Well, how do we know if we have vertical stretching or compression? Well, 2 pi, right, is 6.24. Well, 1 fifth, that's point what? Point 0.2. So... Did we get vertical stretching or compression here? Compression, compression right. Because if this is um, 
6.28 um, rather, not 2 fourths, 2 eight. And this is 0.2 here. Really what happened is, <coughs> you know, we get a bunch of these, right? But there's a lot more than that. It's, they're so small, they're really, they're so compact in there. It just really looks like a bunch of, bunch of lines, right? So we get that compression, horizontal compression there, all right? So when you're, when you're doing the uh, homework on web design, this will help to kind of see those graphs. Okay? All right, any questions with that? All right, so I would like for you 